Hey, today we're going to be doing a quick tour of 31 foot fun mover that we have for sale here. It's got a V10 engine in it with 80,000 miles on it. Tires are in good condition. We're going to take a quick look at the passenger compartment. As you can see from the standard fun mover, we've upgraded the seats. We've put a fresh carpet kit in and some molded floor mats. We'll come over here to the side. There's a large capacity propane tank that you can use to run your refrigerator or the stove. We'll come down the side here. You'll have two outlets to run 110 volt outside activities. This is just an access panel for your hot water tank. In here we're going to have some large storage compartments. They're a mirror match. One set on each side. As you can see there's Plenty of space deep, plenty of space wide, and definitely tall enough to put every, whatever you need in there. With RV will also come with an extra extension cord if you're plugging in somewhere and you need just a few more feet to get to that box. This is this back compartment here. We'll take a quick look at this one. We store road kits, hoses, things like that in there. Again, they're mirror matched, one on each side. Go ahead and head around to the back of the vehicle here. You see that we've upgraded the tail lights to an LED style. There's a large ramp here in the back for riding up motorcycles or loading items. One of my friends uses this as a construction rig. I prefer racing, it's a little more fun. And as you can see, it's a very heavy duty aluminum ramp. Very wide, so you can put both feet down while you ride the motorcycle up or down. It tucks away there nice and neat so you don't have anything hanging off the back of the rig. You don't have to load anything extra. Put a couple safety pins in there. Shut the door, lock it, you're good to go. You also see the backup camera here. We have mounted right to the license plate, so nothing bulky hanging off the back. Got our roll-up door here. It's a coil door. The coil door allows you to keep these high overhead cabinets. There's also a pull-down screen inside. We'll show you that when we get inside the vehicle. Come around to the side here. Again, we have these very two large compartments here for storage. Come down here. Gas fill up, obviously. We have a storage hose or a, a outside water facility so you can wash your boots off if you're into dirt bike rides and things like that. Gray and black water dump right here. Access panels for your refrigerator and your heater. Another access panel for maintenance and an electrical outlet so that you can plug in when you get where you're going. Here we'll have the micro quiet 4000 Onan generator. As you can see right here, gets regularly serviced. Just got a fresh service and also has uh, synthetic oil in it. You'll have, when you pull into the RV park, cable, telephone, water drain, water add for the fill tanks that are inside. I'll show you in a minute. And here is if you're gonna hook up to the city water. And then we'll take a quick look at the driver's compartment. Again, you'll see that the upgraded seats, carpet kit, dash is in great shape, no splits. The backup camera, I'm also six foot tall and don't have any problems being comfortable with this rig. Go ahead and head inside here. We have an electric RV step that comes out. When you turn the vehicle off, there's a little step button right here you can use to hold it out so that every time you shut and open the door, it doesn't automatically close on itself. There's also a couple of lights in there for extra exterior lighting on both sides of the rig, as well as additional lighting in the back. Some more storage underneath the couch. Blackout shades all throughout the vehicle. You'll see up here that we've got the uh, queen size mattress that's been upgraded. Bought that last year from Ikea. Give you a quick look at that. You've got plenty of overhead storage for clothing. Cabinets are plenty deep, go all the way to the wall. You've got another set over here. In addition, we've put a couple of areas up here where you can put some storage. There's power strips pre-mounted here so you can plug in your coffee maker, your phone, have a little charging station right there. Again, you can take a look at the, the driver's cockpit. All the 
All the cushions have been recently recovered in an outdoor fabric, so they're nice and durable. You can just wipe them off. Kids can crawl over them. You can get them a little dirty. The dog can crawl on them. Wipes right off. Underneath this will be the stock water tank. It's a 25 gallon capacity. It's not as large as what we really wanted, so we've gone ahead and upgraded that. In addition, if you're a little bit taller, we've made an access panel here so that the seat reclines a little bit farther. Also, so you can get some access to the inverter. This is a really nice feature. Pull that cushion off and you have a nice single bed. Again, all the foam is really well done, so you're not gonna be sore when you wake up in the morning. Here's another water tank that we've added in. There's storage on both sides that you saw from the underside. We'll show you a little bit more of that. All of this has been custom made. It's the stock stuff was just a little, little outdated for us. There's a small compartment right here where you can keep personal items. When you're going down the road, you want to access real easily. Uh, another person's personal wardrobe underneath here. We've made a small area for shoe storage. There are seat belts under this belt, or this one, and behind this one. I don't regularly haul with anybody, so I don't have them pulled out right now, but they do work. Oh, again, the table. We've done a fold-out table here, so there's a little more access. We wanted to be able to have a conversation, stretch my feet out, also minimize the area that my dog has the run of. Simply just pull out the table, set it in place, and then place the pins back in. Nice, beautiful table with excellent craftsmanship. Refrigerator, freezer, most important part. You wanna keep the kids and the wife happy. You need that compartment, a real one, for ice cream, all right? All, all kidding aside, you gotta have the ice cream. <laughs> you can see over here, we have some more kitchen storage above. Again, very nice and deep. Put a couple of shelves in there so that there's some access in there. Down here, we have a double sink with an additional butcher block top. Nice upgraded Moen faucets, paper towel holder, convection oven, three burner top. And again, we put on another cutting board to increase our surface area. Several drawers for your silverware, storage of extra pots and pans. The RV you probably won't run out of space in, right? We're gonna go ahead and come around to the bathroom here real quick. This is one of my favorite features of this RV because I don't have to stand over the toilet while I shower. Again, reasonably sized shower. I'm six foot tall. I'll go ahead and step up in here. As you can see, I fit quite easily, plenty of room. Again, it's an RV shower. It's not as big as the one I have at home, but uh, very nice removable wand. Helps wash those parts that are a little farther away from your hands. Again, large, excuse me, large medicine cabinet, plenty of room there. Double towel bar. Outlet GFI protected, and most importantly, the toilet. We'll go ahead and head back here. So, people always ask what a fun mover is. This is it. This is the difference between your and a fun mover. A little bit heavier chassis, a little bit heavier suspension, but it's made to take motorcycles. These are really nice. These are a system you just buy the pins for, for whatever bike you want. Literally, just put the pin through the axle. No tie downs so you don't lose all that extra space. Diamond plated all the way around with E-Track. Tons of overhead storage. And again, you get that because you didn't have the other style of door. And then a very nice, several of my friends when they get to the track, turn this into a nice lounging area where you can keep the bugs out, but you still get some of that outside atmosphere, right? Again, overhead lighting, smoke detectors, roof vents does have a come on in here just get my wife to come around does have a small panel here to control your pumps hot water tank black and gray water temperature you can set the heater and forget it down here is a small access panel that you'll use for 
fuses and breakers. And then overhead, the second most important part next to the freezer, air conditioning. We're currently doing this today. We have the air conditioning off, uh, but on a, on a 100 degree day, the air conditioning is very nice. I've actually left this on for my, uh, my dogs while I go out for a couple of hours. We've had this out at a 120 degree day when we're out riding the motorcycles come in and it's nice and chilly in here. So that is a tour of our 31 foot fun mover. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us a message.